Hello and welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. Um, my channel is brand new channel, um, I think almost two weeks now. So if this video uh, resonates with you, please like, subscribe or share, uh, comment. Um, uh, thanks again for all my uh, new subscribers that I've gotten recently and the ones that have joined me or joined with me a little over a week ago. Um, this is going to be a general reading for the collective of Twin Flames and Soulmates, getting the energy after the full moon. Um, we're going to be focusing right now on the Divine Masculine, like you know, what shifted since yesterday, um, how does Divine Masculine see the Divine Feminine, um, what did he uh, manifest in favor of this connection? What's the current challenge? And what action is um, Divine Masculine going to take? And then at the end of that, we'll get advice um, from Spirit of about what kind of signs or messages he is receiving from Spirit. When I refer to Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, I am referring to just the energy and not a specific uh, gender. So with that being said, let's get started. And um, I'm going to be using the Oracle of the Unicorns card for the general energy um, today that he is in. I'm also going to be using the Romance uh, Angel card. Okay, and what we have here is abundance. Um, enjoy the beauty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. So he's in a very good mood. He's feeling very happy, um, very vibrant. Um, it's weird, I had a dream about a unicorn <laughs> last night, um, but it was about me trying to find some unicorn napkins <laughs> Okay, in the store, and I was really obsessed with it. I won't go on about it, but anyway, <laughs> that reminded me of my dream. Okay, and at the bottom, there is a partnership. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build, your, uh, t build you up or build up a talented support team. Okay, so the general energy he's in, I'm feeling right now is he is thinking about um, a partnership. He's thinking about getting together. He's in that energy of um, happy and, and I guess the thought of it is just making him feel really um, happy. So I'm gonna be using the universal weight tarot cards. And then I'm going to just put these cards out in order, um, like what I said in the beginning of this video about what we're checking today. So I'm going to be laying down uh, five cards. Done. Just getting my notes, sorry. Okay. Let's show you this first before I lay it down. Ten of Swords. Three of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Page of Swords, and Ten of Pentacles. Okay, let me see uh, what's the bottom here. We got the King of Wands. So, um, okay, let's just get into this reading before I go too far ahead of myself. Okay. And then I'm going to get the Romance Angel real quick. Oops, turn it 
turn it the wrong way. What's the general energy he is in for this connection with the Divine Feminine? Okay, this one. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Okay, and then at the bottom we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. All right, so for the first um, is what shifted since yesterday. Okay, you have a ten of swords. A painful ending a new beginning so something happened yesterday and uh, or he might have ended something in another I'm sensing there was another relationship here with the three of cups present and this ten of swords so he might have um, ended a situation yesterday or very recently and um, you know, might have been a battle, might have been arguments. Um, I'm going to get the uh, Celtic Tarot cards to clarify a little bit more about this particular ending. Sarah, can you tell me why the Ten of Swords is here and what shifted since yesterday? The lovers. Okay. So, um, the lovers card is about, I'm, I'm sensing a twin flame connection here. Um, I'm going to need a little bit more, but with this abundance, the three of cups, this six, um, the lovers and the ten of pinnacles here, I'm sensing that this is a twin flame, twin flame connection, the very least a divine soulmate, but the lovers are about your equal um, counterpart, you know, your twin flame, the one you want to be with, the ultimate passionate lover that just makes you feel everything uh, comforted, uh, passion, you know, sexually, everything. So with this six, uh, with this lover's um, card here, I'm feeling that um, he possibly might have uh, ended a situation with, um, a long-time partner and this is also here I believe to begin this new beginning with his actual twin flame he might have thought this person was the one for him but something happened recently where he realized it's not and that has come to an end this right here okay so now we have and how does divine masculine see the divine feminine we got the Three of Cups, which is about celebration. It's about reunion, um, being happy, you know, success, you know, partying, you know, just a general overall celebratory um, feeling. So you have abundance right here. So that's, sorry, I'm moving this stuff away. It's hard to get my, with my nails. <laughs> so. You've got the abundance car. He's in his energy. So he's thinking about this connection. He wants to reunite with his uh, twin flame. With this card also present here. One of these days I'll master picking up these cards with these nails. I think maybe. <laughs> anyway, you've got the three of cups here. you got the abundance. And you got the lovers. So I feel like this is definitely... I feel like this is a twin flame connection, even with uh, no more uh, cards present yet. Okay, so he's in this abundance energy. Um, he's seeing reunion with his divine feminine. And uh, let's get a, another card for the three of cups. Let's clarify that. time and I shall pick 
clarifying the Three of Cups. Okay, we got the Six of Wands. So, yes, this is going forward as well. He sees this reunion going forward, going in the public eye. He's got people there with these wands here, if you can see. That's um, like cheering him on, like, go ahead, go get your success. And this is all about, the Six of Wands is about, you know, um, public display. Like, you know, just realizing, coming out with it and not being ashamed. I'm sorry if I make this camera go back and forth. I move my hands a lot. And I notice in these videos, it kind of like makes the camera go in and out of the focus. Oh, first, let's do this. Okay, so what did Divine Masculine manifest in favor? Okay, so with the current information I'm getting here is five of pentacles is about a temporary hardship could be family could be relationship i feel in this situation it has to do with relationship it is about feeling left out in the cold so what he might have manifested um and i will clarify this is he might have manifested um you know making a hard decision and knowing that, you know, it might be, you know, temporary hard to deal with, but it's a decision that needs to be done. Okay, so five is also the number of change and that's in the manifested position. So I'm feeling like he, he changed something since uh, this full moon uh, happened, took place yesterday. Okay, so let's verify the five of pentacles. Also, you could be dealing with the Gemini with the lovers present, but you know, I don't, like I said, I don't focus too much on the signs, just more of the information. If it relates, then that's great. Also, these readings may or may not resonate with everyone every time. So, you know, take what does and then, you know, check another reading maybe for you. Verifying or clarifying. Oops, I guess that's the one that went flying. Okay, so we have the Six of Shields, which is the Six of Pentacles in other decks. It's about balance. It's about equal give and take, sharing. Um, he might have, um, what he manifested, it is he needs to, yeah, I feel like he needs to balance out this, um, feeling he needs to make it right this connection that he has with the divine feminine he needs to make it right because he might have left her out in the cold and if so that means they are not in any type of communication and he's manifested taking action towards rectifying this situation all right and then you have for the challenge position, you've got the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is about delayed news uh, or sometimes disappointing news. Um, watching, you know, spying, you know, looking, you know, looking, uh, <laughs> uh, spying on you. Put it that way. Just spying on you. Okay, so the Page is here. Page of Swords is here for a challenge. Um, and as you see, he's kind of like geared up to take action. So I feel like the challenge is for him to just go ahead and just swing that sword. He, I feel like he's um, keeping a watchful eye on you. But the challenge is just to go ahead and, you know, bring in uh, this news, this truth. Because the sword suit is about uh, communication and um, your mind you know what's going on there so let's see why the uh page of swords is here there we go six of swords so again what i'm sensing here with the page of swords clear uh, the six of swords clarifying the six of swords did i say that right let me just re-say that. <laughs> it didn't sound right. The Six of Swords is clarifying the Page of Swords. Okay, so the Six of Swords is about um, moving forward. 
leaving, you know, troubled times behind. And, you know, just focusing on what's ahead. And so I feel like with this uh, clarifying the page of sword is, is that is the challenge is, is delayed because it's hard for him um, to take this action. But he as you see, this is moving forward. So it is happening. It's just it might require a little bit more patience, a little bit of delay could be a delay because maybe things were just clarified yesterday with that painful ending with the Ten of Swords. So there's a lot of sword energy. So you could be dealing with um, air signs as well. I've already mentioned a Gemini, um, Libra or Aquarius. Um, so this is why the page is here. That is a challenge is just taking that sword and just swing into action. Okay, so what action is um, the Divine Masculine going to take? You got the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be two things here. It could be the action he's taking is ending that past relationship. And it could be both because of this painful ending also means new beginning. So there's two things that I'm picking up from here. He's ending the relationship on the physical plane. And then he's also going to take action towards this relationship. Um, with the Divine Feminine. The Ten of Pentacles is about um, relationships. It's also about fortune, finances, work, and career. Um, you know, for some, it could be, you know, focusing on their finances right at this time, which could be why the Five of Pentacles is there. And that could also cause the delay. Because, because it could be trying to balance out the financial situation that might be incurred with this past relationship. But you got at the bottom here, the King of Wands energy. So he is taking action. So that the King of Wands is present. King of Wands is about honesty. It's about, you know, being very passionate in what you do, um, sexual energy and drive. I feel like that's the driving force behind here. So he is going to take action towards these things. And then so let's clarify why the Ten of Pentacles is here. Okay, I just noticed something before I clarify the Ten of Pentacles. So with the make the effort is... Under here is the Five of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. So you got a lot of Earth energy too. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus um, in this reading. Um, but you got to make the effort here. And there's a lot of green in the background. So this is definitely happening on the physical plane, what I'm feeling. And you see how he's all hooked up with her. He's thinking about his love. Um, this could also involve uh, children since there's two kids in this picture and that could be the reason why um, could be a boy and a girl um, in this relationship that he's ending which m could be the reason why it's painful and a hard decision to make um, but what I'm getting is he also with these cards under here he's trying to balance out this uh, situation to make it good for everybody um, but also pursuing his own ha hap his own happiness, which is why the abundance card is here, because the divine feminine makes him happy, and he wants to be in um, reunion with her. And um, let's go ahead and clarify the ten pinnacles. Okay, King of Wands. Now you have the King of Wands in this reading twice. Two times. So this is what the full moon has brought. This has brought the King of Wands. Now this card is a little more sexual as you can see. Um, his energy, his passion is way up. Okay. Two times the King of Wands is here. And like I said, he's very passionate. He's honest. He takes action. 
So since this is in here, it's magnified twice, so his action level is on point. That's really what I can say. So with this sexual energy in this card, clarifying the Ten of um, Pentacles, I feel like, um, sorry I'm laughing, it's just funny because this card is very sexual. <laughs> um, I feel like he's taking action towards this relationship with the Divine Feminine on the physical plane. You know, he's grounded in this relationship since there's a lot of, a lot of earth energy. You know, also, you know, you could be dealing with fire sign with the two king of wands um, here. Leo, um, Sagittarius or Aries. And then let's see what's at the bottom of this card. Okay, four of shields, which is um, the four of pentacles in other um, cards or other decks. I feel like he is not letting go of taking action with the two um, King of Wands here present. Like he is going to take action. And also most, uh, what I'm also picking up is he is trying to um, hold on to his finances in this situation. So there's obviously uh, a very committed relationship where it might involve dividing money such as in divorce and, uh, you know, divorcing this person in a, in a marriage. But he doesn't want to let go of that, but I feel that he is willing to do it because his, his happiness is more um, present and his overall energy. But I feel like he is holding on to this uh, King of Wands energy, like he is not letting go. He's made a decision. Let me see if I can pick up anything other here. So what I'm seeing like in a lot of this here is the twin flames, the lovers, they're going forward successfully in reunion. There's going to be equal give and take, and they're going to move forward with this sexual, passionate relationship. And he is very certain that he, this is what he wants. He's going to make the effort. As you see, he's going to make the effort. His mind is wide open with this being on the bottom card. And he is focused on this partnership with the Divine Feminine. Okay, so you have the partnership, you have the lover's card um, here, and he is in that energy. So now let's get um, the advice or signs or message he is receiving from his spirit guides and uh, these are the fairy forest oracle cards I'm using so let's see what spirit is giving him signs or a message he's receiving that's helping him in this connection and I'm going to read a little short paragraph from the um, book as well because these are new cards I'm learning all right, so what we got here, blood month, number 21, sacrifice, offerings, decision. Okay, so let's read this. And then on the bottom, you have the Maboon, if I'm saying this right, shining hope future. So he's focused on his future. That's the bottom line here. And then now let's get the uh, message from the blood month about this card. I know it has something to do with in endings and clearing out energy, but I need to just uh, find it here for you. Okay, Blood Month. I'm going to hold this card up so you can see what I'm reading about. There is a time for us all to gather the harvest to us. In order to do so, in the fields, the heads of grain must fall. In our own lives, we must similarly, similarly, uh, I can't say that word right, be ready to let go and offer up something of value in order to make room for the greater good that can then flow into our lives, into our very souls. When we sacrifice, we make something sacred by the very act of giving it up. It is no sacrifice to make an offering that is has no value, no meaning to us. And so at 
this time you are being asked to give, contribute, and offer up something valuable to you in order to receive in return. What you give must be significant as there must be energetic room created in order for significant blessing and uh, blessing to flow through to you in return. These sacrifices do not always come in the form of the material. Uh, the materialist is not always a thing that we offer or let go of. It can be our pride, our judgment, our human conceits, our petty quarrels and disputes, all of which fill our days with distraction that serve no one. With the blood month comes the need to make a deep and earnest decision to give up something that we have held dear, even components of our constructed human personality, to give them up to feed the hungry beings of blood month, who also terrify to gaze upon, who, who all, I'm sorry, who also terrifying to gaze upon will clear and free us in so many ways. Have no doubt from the offerings you make, the future is born. Now is the time to make that sacred, that sacred offering. Okay, so that is pretty much telling me that he has been told that it's time for him to make a decision and he's just got to do it. He's got to give up his ego, his thoughts, his old ways of thinking of what he thought things should be and live in his truth. And from what I'm seeing, I feel that that's what he's doing. Okay, thank you guys for watching the channel. And if this resonated for you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, I appreciate you watching very much. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until the next time or next video, peace, love, and light.